A strong fire has occurred in Russian President Vladimir Putin's compound in Ongedaisky district of Russia's Altai Republic, local media outlets reported on Thursday. The reason of fire remains unknown. The compound was used by Putin for holding informal meetings. Russian news outlet Serena published images shared by local activists of what they claimed to be the footages of Putin's burned residence in Altai compound. However, earlier another Russian media outlet Commerceant Money reported that, contrary to widespread media reports, the complex belongs to Russia's state-owned energy company Gazprom and is used for its receptions. The luxury high-tech bunker is located in the Altai Mountains and was reportedly designed for protection in the event of nuclear war. The giant underground bunker is located in the remote region of Angudeski near the border with Mongolia. According to various media sources, during the COVID pandemic, presidential helicopter was regularly seen in the air over the mountains. The compound is just one of Russian leader Vladimir Putin's favorite hideaways. Ukraine can destroy Russian Tu-95 and Tu-22, the Ukrainian colonel called a miracle weapon. The Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel noted that it is critically necessary for Ukraine to have permission from Western countries to launch strikes with their weapons on Russian territory. The likelihood of making a positive decision for Ukraine was commented on by Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and military expert Petra Chernik in an interview with Glavred. Chernik recalls that a similar situation with Western countries' hesitation in providing Ukraine with certain types of weapons has been going on for a long time, in June 2022. When I was in the combat zone in the Donetsk region, U.S. President Joseph Biden stated that he would not provide Ukraine with F-16 fighters because this would mean crossing red lines and further escalation. But time has passed, and Biden decided to take this step, and we will have F-16s. There is a hope that by early to mid-summer, the fighters will be operating in Ukraine. If this happens, it will be a tremendous success for us, Chernik said. He adds that the situation is similar with long-range missiles. Of course, we are interested in ATA CMS with a range of 300 kilometers, but the Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel notes that it is worth paying attention to the missiles that are used on F-16, in particular the incredible AGM-158 JASSM. There are configurations that allow you to strike enemy targets at a distance of up to 900 kilometers, the expert noted. According to him, a strike by five ATA CMS missiles on Russian targets in the Donetsk region, in particular in occupied Mospino, led to the destruction of at least three S-300, stroke 400 launchers, a radar and a combat control vehicle. This incident indicates serious problems for the enemy with anti-aircraft missile cover and the AGM-158 JASSM missile with a range of up to 900 kilometers can easily fly to the airfield in Engels, where the strategic attack missile carriers are based. T-95MS, TU-160 and TU-22M3. The ability to strike with such missiles can radically change everything, he notes. However, he notes that another example of a Western reaction should be kept in mind. Almost a month and a half ago, the information space was filled with militaristic rhetoric from Macron about the possibility of sending French troops into Ukraine, but this did not happen and the topic disappeared from the information agenda. It's difficult to say exactly what decisions will be made in the West, but we critically need the Western world to allow the use of its long-range weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation, he concluded.
Kurzer. Kurzer.